<laughs> oh, okay, so um, this is the like a whole Elephant Institute uh, Seattle office. And um, here, what you just asked me the question, um, my teacher is Mr. Lee Hongzhi. Oh, nice. And uh, um, you heard about uh, Falun Dafa? Yes. That's Falun Dafa teacher, oh, Mr. Okay. Lee Hongzhi. That's cool. Uh -huh. That's actually here or in China? Um, this is uh, the like uh, um, for like a uh, spiritual practice. Okay. Um, when you uh, kind of deliver the teachings. Okay. Um, usually has a lot of inner spiritual contents. Mm -hmm. So um, the way of um, wearing. Oh. I think you are asking that question, yes, right? Yes, I get it. Uh, yeah. What like what what is um what is uh, that uh doing way of uh, you know yes. um i think uh it's all great question we're gonna save it for the future when you you know learn more about falun dafa yes, I, I just want you to know that uh on the um wall of this office number one that poster is called on dafa it's oh, the teaching of falun dafa it's nice. in chinese but if you like to really know what's the meaning of it there is also an english book Oh. It's called a Joan Falun, turning the turning the law wheel. Okay. So um, very profound teaching. I'm gonna send a link to you. Okay. Later. Um, okay. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah, you will. I think you will start to understand it's in like English? a. Yeah, have the entire uh, book in English. Oh, Can nice. I show you? Yeah, for okay. sure. Okay, there we go. Um, I like to read see. a book. I'm reading for Jobran, Khalil Jobran now. This is uh, the Chinese version of the book called the Drawing Balloon. And uh, the poster on the wall is uh, the first. So when I open the book, right, this is book of Drawing Balloon, right? Drawing Balloon, okay? Wow. And then our teacher's name is Li Hong. Okay. Nice. In Chinese, properly, it's Li okay. Hong Zhi. Okay. Zhuan Fa Lun. Okay. Now, when I open the next page, you see that is the picture that have the poster. Yeah, it's right the there. Them, right. Mm -hmm. nice. So this is for students, you know, to know that this is our teacher, right? Oh, that's okay. cool. The next page, you see on the wall, it's a you see that Falun symbol right yeah. there. That's in the book, okay? So that's from the book. Oh, that's wow. now you can see what's on the wall is actually that. Now this is a loan yu. You see? Right here. Yes. So loan. Oh yu. right. That's yes, exactly that's it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So there we go. So what you see actually on the wall post actually is about the book of Joan Fallon. Okay? Oh, nice. So when people come to my office, I want to introduce them the, the great book of Joan Fallon because that is the teaching you of Fallon Dafa, right? Very well. mm -hmm. Now, when I open up this, this is my daily study book. This is, uh, you, as you can see, I've been reading it a lot. Okay. So um, this is a very important teaching that I printed, the recent teaching from the uh, website. This is a book of Joan following English. Oh, okay. that's so cool. So Joan Fa Lun, I mean, yes. turning the law wheel. Joan Fa Lun, and then you open it. Nice. Okay, that's our teacher's picture, recent photo of the the author. Yes. Now that is in the modern way of dress. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Again, you see the Falun symbol, right? Yes. Okay. Now. It's called Next. Falun symbol. Mm -hmm. Next, now we have the teaching on Dafa. That's Lun Yu. Lun Yu. But in Chinese, uh, in English, this is goes like this. Now I will let you read it. Go ahead. Take the book and I will hear you reading it. Go ahead. Dava is the wisdom of the greater. It is the bit rock of the great chain what the heavens, earth, and universe are built upon, upon. It's a built upon. A built upon. It's <laughs> like yes. built yes. things or... Exactly. Yeah, built upon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. It encompasses all things for the utmost men's... Minuscule? From men's the cute. utmost minuscule? Mm -hmm. To the best 
of the vest. Vest is the white. vest. Mm -hmm. Very great. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. So that is the book of. Is the same book, this one? Same book, it's just the English translation. If you like to read more about it, I'm going to send you a link. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a picture. Go ahead, for... take a picture of that. Mm -hmm. I'm reading one for Jubron, Khalil Jubron, mm. uh, thought and meditation. Okay, very yeah. good. You shall read this book. I, I will think. send it to you, actually. Yeah, you mm -hmm. should read it. Yeah, read, read this book. You will see how you know you uh, connect with the teaching of Valendaf. Oh, great. Okay. I think this is so nice book, but yes, it's need a long time for me to <laughs> understand everything. Yes, it's great. Yeah. Uh, so um, that is basically my daily study. Okay. Every day, uh, I usually study this book uh, in Chinese language. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Now this book has been with me ever since the year of 2005 oh. and every day I read one lecture altogether there are nine lectures so every day like uh, uh, for example today how is old, how old this book this book was first uh, published actually in 1994 and so um, 1994 to now um, oh, wow. I didn't learn from the Dafa until the year of 2002 but uh, I start to read this you know book daily because I recognize the importance of studying nice. the you know spiritual guidance because it's a very ancient wisdom it's a prehistorical culture oh nice you will see you know okay. once you get into that you will see wow this is really profound uh -huh. you know like the book of I Ching it's it's really you know people think it's very very old but um, this is prehistorical mm -hmm. you know the wisdom is prehistorical yeah. so it's really great yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah so um since you are coming to visit my office i like to keep a recording of our uh -huh, activities here um i would like to give you an interview if you don't mind i'm gonna pause here and we're gonna do a formal interview of the subject we were just talking about outside unless you have other questions about my you know our yeah, office for sure well, okay. actually yes okay so go ahead you yeah. said uh, how long mm -hmm. you been here in washington Hmm? How long you been here and and this is? I area? actually just arrived on the eighteenth, uh, three o'clock in the morning. Oh, nice! So the past several days, I was just uh, getting this room together. So oh. today is my day one oh, of nice. a business operation That's of cool. our Seattle office, and you are the one that you know <laughs> we're talking about. You know, doing a, a business project together. So yeah. I think it's all meant to be. That's why it's great to keep a recording of our. You know. Yes. Uh, beginning moment of this uh, uh, business meeting right yes. and your questions about the room and the fact that you can see very clearly that you know I am uh, doing daily practice of ancient you know cultivation way yes. called Falun Dafa you also heard about it mm -hmm. and this is practice that actually has been you know uh, um, followed uh, diligently by over a hundred million people all over the world right now mm -hmm. so I'm sure in your uh, country Palestine, right? Yes. There are a lot of practitioners there. Yes. In, and in Israel, there are a lot of practitioners. So right. there are practitioners all over the world. It's really not limited to any religion, faith. Yes. Because it's a um, like a practice for everyone to elevate their spirituality. Yes. You know, to improve their mind and heart nature. Exactly. So I view this as the most profound you know, for human beings, I think people, everybody want to follow science. So I have been a researcher of uh, modern life science. But the moment when I start to learn Falun Dafa, mm -hmm. I recognize that this is truly the most ancient wisdom about human body, about universe, about life about the law of the universe about the creation of the universe. You know about the past present and future of the universe everything is in there yes so for me i say hey if you really think you want to be a scientist then learn the science of the universe yes you know and here is here is it your book meditation is uh -huh. about the same almost 
he talk about the universe how it was like perfect and devoid. He thinks that. I it, see. It, we shall have more deep discussion about that. And the, I always say when we you know meet each other, we bring uh, our world together. Yes. Like you have your world and I have my world, yeah. and we all belong to the much bigger world. Yes, exactly. So just like one cell meet another cell. Yes. And then, you know, two cells, each each cell is like a universe. Yeah. So when the two cells meet and they start to talk, 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 right? Yeah, Communicate. Yeah. And that was my field uh, of study. Um, we call it signal transduction. <laughs> signal <laughs> transduction, you know. You give me a message, I receive it, and then I start to digest that. Yeah, and yeah. then that changes, you know, the, a lot of operation inside of my system when i deliver my message to you you receive it and then you start to initiate a cascade of events in your universe yes and then the two universes start to dance together <laughs> and then start to merge into a bigger universe right. you know what i mean yes so I, this, this is what i you know really love to do with uh, people i i really honor each person uh, almost like the lord of the universe of your system you know so we really need to open up our heart and communicate, right? Yes. So the, at the whole Elephant Institute, that's going to be our operational mode. Exactly. You can always bring your friends and then we can merge three universes yes, together. You're right. <laughs> right. What this mean? Uh -huh. What this? Um, means uh, the togetherness, right? Yes. Communication, right? Yeah. And it's... dance with each other, right? Oh, okay. Do mm -hmm. it in one hand. You can. Exactly. That's one hand. One. Yes. Do Two I, hands. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we actually start to make something happen. Uh, the yeah. moment we touch our hands, and then you know our system start to get new inputs. Yes. All right. Yeah. So just a very brief time, you know, we start to see that resource can be shared. And if you just by yourself, even if you have a huge amount of resource, there is no creation. But when you have two parties start to interact, exactly. then the resource start to exchange and the new life will be born. Right. Uh, amazing, right? Amazing, yeah. It's very it's incredible. Cool, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you have so much wisdom in, you know, at such young age. Um, can you, I'm like outside, you know, when we met outside, I was like, usually at your age, young men, they are not that mature in terms of thinking, the way you are. I notice that you're very special. The way you talk about how you handled, you know, the uh, past two years when the whole world was uh, showing the way of fear, yes. hide, social distancing, you know, um, mask, uh, vaccination, yes. uh, stop working, right? Yes. Uh, people think that they can hide and stay away from the virus and until the virus leaves and then they want to go back to their old way of operation. Yes. And then they start to notice that as if it's not possible because the world has changed. And then during those fear, during those isolation, people's heart become cold. The fear start to take over. Right. More and more people find that their old friends disappear. Even their family member disappear. Right. And, uh, um, you know, job no longer the same. Yes. And uh, their health no longer the same. Yes. And the vaccine make their body feel polluted and that they will never be able to get back to their original purity anymore. Yes. And so this is really the challenge right now, you know, uh, being, you know, uh, presenting to every single individual. Some individual, they actually um, have conquered the fear. Yes. And uh, some individuals are left behind and they still deeper and deeper in the fear and they can no longer kind of climb out as if like it's really hell, right? Yes. And in Communist China right now, uh, the Chinese Communist government are making all the Chinese people fearful. And they are causing disasters, human rights disasters right now in China. So I noticed that when I talked to you, you were like, oh, you know, this is how I think about it. So I thought this is really great, you know, for you to speak up. Yes. And I think your wisdom, your courage, um, your understanding yes. can help a lot of people see differently. Yeah, right. Yeah, for so sure. So I have a couple questions. Number one, I'm curious about your education background because uh, 
I know in UW, my son Noah told me that not one single professor is not a leftist. Yes. So it's like they are in the leftist ideology field and they talk about materialism, you know, they talk about socialism, they talk about ideologies that I believe that right now is behind the current global global policy of vaccination, you know, social distancing, mask. And, um, you know, it's not like uh, the communist China that, that bad on the surface, but uh, the root is the same. People uh, do not understand that our human spirit is so powerful. And the people uh, are counting on, you know, modern science and technology alone. Yes. We're not saying the modern science and technology are not, are not good. They are also tools, you know, but um, if they only count on that alone, that is not going to work. Yeah. Also, you also like, mentioned... You mean you think that yeah. technology is not... A whole, it's like going to take the people, like, to be bad more than good, like, more than good people. Like, it's going to be more bad people more than good people because the technology. Mm. That's what the... Famous people talk about like, actually the author people, the writer for a books, mm -hmm. they talk about the program we are in now, mm -hmm. the technology we are on, on now. There's the old people, your grandfather, your father, yes. my grandfather, my father, the old people. Yeah. That's mean your grandfather, my grandfather, they can do the same. That's technology that's everything but they don't want to do that because they already know that's take them to corruption there we go they had that intuition in their heart with yeah. their wisdom and inspiration exactly. from the divine they know that on the surface technology stuff is very fancy as if can advance humanity but in reality they know one day you know, people will start to right. regret, but that would be too late, correct? There is a people, mm -hmm. millions of people, they think, so oh, we are smart more than other people, old people, because they did not do nothing. Like, this is universe, uh -huh. this is big building, this yeah. is a lot of hostel places. Yes. But actually, they did, did more than this. And they use the laser from a lot of thousand years more each you are right because in the book of john valen um you know turning turning the law well even in chapter one our teacher uh mentioned about pre prehistorical culture as a matter of fact we think that we are so advanced and we are doing this high tech but as a matter of fact these kind of things existed long time ago thousands of years ago even millions of years exactly. ago that the technology was much more advanced exactly. than the current Look technology mm-hmm that called Ehrama. Uh huh. so if anyone in this world can make that Can't. now they cannot. they cannot the mysteries of the pyramids what right kind of technology they use exactly for more than laser right more than system computer exactly more, yes a lot of mm -hmm. stuff. But yeah. we are like, I mean, we not are stupid in this world, but we are going to be stupid. Yes. Uh, people. yes. Because we start to losing our, our mind. Correct. We start to believing something we don't have to believe. Yeah. We, ask, we start to change our cut, like custom, our conditioner, our everything's culture. And we are going to be like in the same city, in the same culture, in the same... What you like, I gonna be like. What mm -hmm. you eat, I gonna eat. Yes. You been in China? There is nobody was making a food, Chinese food, especially just in China. I'm from Palestine and from Middle East. The people was if you want Middle East food, you have to go to Middle East. But now, if you want Chinese food, Arab food, Korean food, you can't find it everywhere. Yeah. If you see somebody famous wear a good T-shirt, you going to buy that T-shirt. If you see somebody buy a new car, if you don't have money, you're going to bank, take mm -hmm. a loan yes. and buy this car to show yeah. the people I can do that. Mm -hmm. But that's what, like actually God, he not great us for that. Yeah. He wants you to live the life, make your money, be happy, uh, do everything you like, everything you want it. But at first, you have to do the basic stuff.
That's correct. The basic thing before exactly. the money, before the house, before mm -hmm. everything. You think that's what you need, what you're looking for. But actually, you that's not what you, we're looking mm -hmm. for. That's not what we need. Mm -hmm. What we need in this is world first. That first, that's universe. Like yeah. We need the love, actually. Excuse me, one second, hand that phone to me and I'm gonna just press a button. Oh, yeah, sure. Of, you know, uh, this is my actually daily practice time. That's why I set the alarm clock, it's 2.55. Um, if you don't mind, we're gonna very quickly pause it. Uh, I will need to do a little meditation, about uh, like 15 minutes. Um, is that okay with you? Yeah, you can also meditate if you want. You can. We can both sit down here, okay. and then we can just uh, uh, you know clean up my mind for like fifteen minutes. Yeah. Would you like to do that? Okay. Let's pause. Okay.